Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video, we're gonna take on the challenge of modeling this sports bottle in under 10 minutes. I'll go through some of the uh, array tools, um, some of the extrusion features, and a few other tips and tricks like uh, projecting curves and stuff to get the, the model complete and ready for export into a program such as 3ds Max or Blender, whatever you prefer to render in. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just remove our cube. Let's bring in our reference image. So you can get any any reference you want for this. Let's use S. I'll just scale this up a little bit. Use the G key, and I'll just bring it to scale a bit more. I'm not too bothered about the dimensions for this tutorial, but you can actually, you know, get this spot on if you want to, you know, if you want to 3D print this or whatever it is you, you're after doing. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna start with a center circle and we're just gonna drag that out to roughly where we think the bottle is. Bring it up, that's not bad. Obviously the, the picture here is in perspective, so it's gonna be have some slight distortion to it. So the first thing we wanna do is select this. Let's use M on the keyboard, drop this to 0 0.5 so we can see through it. I'm gonna grab our curve spline, and then what we're gonna do is just zoom in, and I'm just gonna very quickly just try and get this little bit of sort of detail out here like so. Um, then what we're gonna do is select our bottle again, the main bottle that we've got, use the F key, search for project, and then we're gonna project that spline onto the bottle. We can go ahead and hide that spline now. What we can do now is select the newly created spline that's on the bottle, use the P key, and we can just drag this out like so. So we can bring this out to roughly about there. I think that'll do a little bit off here, but not too bad. We can use, select the bottle again, use Q, cut that out, and then what we can do is just hide that as well. So let's just go back and just hide that. That one, there we go. So that's not too bad. So let's get on to the detail here. So we'll use a center point uh, circle or a center circle there and what we'll do is just roughly get these into position we'll use the uh, rectangular array bring this down to about here so they're all uh, evenly spaced uh, mine's already set to four so you can change the settings there um, the number and what we can do select this so let's use the C key and whilst holding shift I should be able to Cut these out, let's use enter, there we go. And that should have cut those out for me. So again, let's just hide these. I use the five key as well, just to jump into perspective. So that's not bad. What I need to do now is bring up, let's uh, put my wireframe on, and just bring this up a little bit, this top face here, so we can bring it up to roughly about there. I'll then grab another center circle and grab that there let's use the G key bring this roughly to about there like so let's use P and again we'll put another little cut in there so that's worked out quite nicely so we've got that, that sort of matching detail now so the next thing is to move on to the lid so for that, what we'll do is we'll return this back to full opacity there. So you can have a little look at the model. And then what we can do is use E to extrude. We'll do this as a new body. So we'll use B, okay? And then what we'll do is use uh, O. Let's get that roughly to size. Let's extrude this up ever so slightly for that centerpiece. Again, let's use that O key. We can bring this in and up. And then we've just got a bit on top there to do as well. So we can bring that like so. So 
So again, a little bit off. Let's fill it the edge here so we get that nice sort of shape to it. Something like that. You can go ahead and fill it that one as well. There is a little tiny indentation here for the water or liquid to flow through. So we can just give that impression there like so. We can go ahead and now start to fill it these edges like that. And then before we move on to the fillets here, what we're gonna do is add a bit of detail. So we'll do a circle like so. Then we'll use a three point uh, rect or rectangle. So we can grab this like so. Let's use the T key and then we can get rid of that. So we've got a, a nice arc there. Um, I'm just gonna ensure as well uh, um, these are actually joined up so it's a little bit difficult to see this at uh, the moment in time so we've got a uh, working with this this sketch here so again what we can do is just use the control points let's use uh, J just to draw, join these so you can see that now let's use G and then we can just move this roughly to there I'll use the five key to bring on the all selection. Let's bring this out. Let's use tab. I've got something like that. So I need to move this down to roughly about there, I think. And then what we'll do is I'll move this to about here, like so. And go ahead and hide that original sketch now that we did. We'll just isolate this really quickly as well. And what we'll do is just fill it that edge like so. Something like that. I think that'll do. Maybe we could move that in a little bit like that. Now we can grab this, let's use a radial array. I'm gonna go ahead into the top view, grab that. I'm just gonna have a look here. I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna click okay, select the lid, use Q. And then what we're gonna do is grab all these extensions. And we're just gonna cut those away, like so. Then we can grab the top part of the lid and we should be able to bring that down quite nicely. And again, we've just got to finish off with some fillets now. So let's select each of these edges that we've got. Sort of fillet these out. I think what I'll do is maybe have a smaller one on this. And then these can be sort of the same like that. And then we've got, of course, the edges down here. So because I held shift, it's actually cut the pieces in. So I've just quickly selected them and removed them. I think like that's quite nice. And then for the bottom, you know, you can give that a nice fillet as well. Maybe we perhaps make it a little bit larger. And there we go, we've got a nice sort of bottle there sports bottle ready to go and then we can add the final bits of sort of detail here so what we want to do use that old key and again maybe we just bring that up and you know you could be a bit more a bit more detailed here uh, than what I am so we've got a nice lid we've got the bottle there as well and then of course we can change the the view mode there the render mode that we want Let's turn off that wireframe. And there we go. You've got a nice sports bottle. Sort of ready to go there. Looking pretty, pretty good if I do say so myself. And all in uh, about eight, eight, nine minutes or something. And so I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.